I know you guys are eager to get started in the shop, and I know you'd like to start cutting pieces of wood. That's the thing that everybody always wants to do in wood shop. They want to cut wood, and we're close. But before we do that, we need to talk about a few important things. We need to talk about the two types of cuts that we generally make in a piece of wood. So here I have a piece of pine. We normally use pine in our wood shop. It's a piece of three quarter inch thick pine. If you look at the pine, you're gonna notice that it has knots in it, right? A few small ones here and there and some big ones. And also you'll notice the lines in the wood. And you should know by now that these lines are called the grain. Well, most of the time that we're working in the shop, we are cutting out rectangles. And the orientation of the grain or the way how the grain looks is really important when it comes to cutting out rectangles. So if you look at this template here for one of the projects that we're gonna build in the shop, you'll see that the template has some curves in it. Eventually, the piece of wood we cut out is going to have curves in it. But to begin with, we simply wanna cut out a rectangle that this template can fit on. So to cut out a rectangle, I need to mark out where I want this template to fit on the piece of wood, and then I need to cut it out. Now I'm gonna do this only using hand tools to begin with because I want to show you what that looks like. So my first step is to take a tape measure and to measure out the template. Now if you look on the template, it actually tells me that I need a piece of wood that's three and three quarters wide by 10 and an eighth. But if it doesn't say that, I'll just measure 10 and an eighth by three and three quarters. So this piece of wood here has some knots in it, and I want to avoid those big knots. So I'm gonna take my square, and I'm gonna square up one end right here. And then I'm going to measure over 10 and an eighth after I cut this line. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that for you right now. You couldn't see it in the video, but I just cut the end off here with a handsaw to make it nice and clean. So now I'm going to measure over 10 and an eighth, make a crow's foot, and I'm going to square my line across. We now have the length of our piece of wood. To figure out the width, I can do this a few different ways, but I'm just gonna take my combination square and set it at three and three quarters. All right, so I now have a rectangle that I wanna cut out for my template to fit on. And this is what we're doing. I'd say 95% of the time in the shop, we're simply taking larger rectangles and we're making smaller rectangles out of them. So we're taking a larger rectangle and making a smaller rectangle. Now, if you look at the piece of wood, you'll notice there's two types of cuts that are gonna be made here. One cut is going to go with the grain. This cut right here, you can see, is gonna go all the way across with the grain. And one cut is going to go against the grain. When we cut with the grain, this is called ripping. It's really important that you know this. When you cut with the grain of the piece of wood, it's called ripping. When we cut across the grain, this is called cross cutting. So cutting with the grain is called ripping. Cutting across the grain is called cross-cutting. Now, when I do this with hand tools, I'm gonna to do it a little differently than we sometimes do in the shop when we're using power tools. Let me show you this. I'm gonna start out by ripping the piece of wood. Typically, it's always a good idea to rip first. And when I rip it, since I'm using hand tools, I'm gonna to stay a little bit away from the line. I 
ripped it, I didn't actually cut it right on the line. There's a reason for this. I'm actually gonna come back now with a hand plane and I'm gonna plane down to the line. So you can see, by using the hand plane, we can actually get all the way down to our line and we now have a nice straight, smooth edge. This is way smoother than it would be if we sanded it. The hand plane is actually a really, really cool hand tool. It consists of a blade that's set in the body of this tool called the plane. It's called a plane because it makes a perfectly flat surface, just like a plane, like a geographical plane, like the Great Plains, or a geometrical plane. The blade sticks out of the bottom, and then we run this tool over the surface of the wood, and it creates a flat surface. So we made our rip cut with the handsaw. Now we need to cross cut. When I cross cut, though, I can't plane the end, so I need to cut right on the line. and draw out the curve that we want to cut. And we can go to the scroll saw or use a coping saw and a drill to cut that shape out. So you can see, remember, there's two types of cuts we can make. When we cut with the grain, that's called ripping. And when we cut across the grain, that's called cross cutting. And those cuts are essential because 95% of the time, we're cutting out a piece of wood in the shop, we are making a rectangle. Those are the two cuts that we use to make rectangles. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys soon.